it's 1am right now. I really wanted to film this video on Christmas Day and it's not even Christmas Day anymore technically but this is the first time I've had today to like sit down and talk to you guys. I feel like it would make more sense for me to film it like tomorrow but I will be at the Boxing Day sales so I won't have time. and welcome to today's video. As you've seen in the title, today is my what I got for Christmas 2022. I don't know why I've got my hood up but this is one of the gifts I got and it's so cosy. Hope you all had a lovely Christmas, hope you're all happy and healthy. I've spoken about this on my channel before, if Christmas is not your type of year then that's also fine. It's just another day and I'm proud of you for getting through it. So I'm gonna go in with my Christmas Eve box from my mum and dad. This is really wholesome. So it's got special delivery please send to lauren aka laro on the front and it's just got like little bits and bobs from christmas eve in but i got a little hot chocolate bomb some shortbread my mom is like desperately holding on to the fact that i'm still her baby so she actually got me a storybook which i haven't read but maybe i'll pass this on to like my future child thank you mum a little mug and hot chocolate set which i also should have used last night but it's still christmas till new year's gone so and i also got like fluffy socks and christmas eve pajamas and then also a little me to you hand cream and what's that called like nail file so that was my little christmas eve box for last night also thank you everyone who wished me a merry christmas i spoke to loads of you over the festive period about like how to cope with christmas and stuff and yeah thank you for wishing me a merry christmas if you did also these videos aren't for everyone i understand that and if you don't want to watch this that's like completely fine because they obviously can't come across as like bragging but this is not the aim i love watching these videos and it's nice for me to look back every year to see what I got and who knows how long I'll be doing these videos for. I'm gonna go with my mum and dad's like bag first. I'm also not being too loud because my mum and dad are asleep. So the only thing I actually asked for this year was this dressing gown because I just really wanted like a huge white fluffy dressing gown. I feel like they just look so put together. That was all I really asked for and I'm just so happy with it. Like it is so soft. I wish you could feel through the screen. But I also did mention some books too. So the first book I got, which I've been so excited to read since I heard it was going to be a thing, is I'm Glad My Mum Died, which is the Janet McCurdy autobiography. Well, is it an autobiography? It's like a life story kind of thing. And I've been so excited to read this because I've watched loads of her like interviews and stuff about this book and it looks really interesting. So I think that's the first one I'm going to read. Actually, no. The third book I'm going to show you is the one that I probably should read first. I also also got the girls bathroom which is a podcast like quite a popular podcast i don't tend to listen to podcasts because i'm more of like a visual person so unless it's like a video with the podcast they might have actually started that i don't really watch the podcast but this book looked really interesting i was in waterstones and i was reading the blurb and stuff but this is the podcast by i said podcast so many times this is by sophia tuxford and it's Shin is it Chintia? I think it's Chintia. I did judge the book a bit by its cover, but that's fine. But it says on the back, the essential guide for young women looking to find their way in life. So we'll see what they have to say. And then the third book, and probably the most important one, I obviously have emetophobia, which most of the people watching this video also do have emetophobia because I know that my like viewers are mostly emetophobes. But I did get the emetophobia manual. I've heard really good things about this. I've seen loads of people talk about it on TikTok and I've been recommended it a few times. I'm going to try it so you don't have to no maybe maybe we should all try it it does look really really good it's got some exposure tips in it's got lots of words so hopefully there's some helpful things in there there's also qr codes i don't even see that i don't know if excited is the right word to talk about starting this book but i actually am quite excited because i will take what i can get to be honest to get rid of the metaphobia because it's absolutely bloody awful yeah there's some like things filling and stuff so i'm gonna start that probably in the new year because i'm just gonna chill until then as best that i can <laughs> while we're on the topic of emetophobia i also did get some toothbrushes because i don't know if this is like another thing that emetophobes do i'm gonna speak about it more in my next emetophobia update but i go through like five toothbrushes a week like it's not it's not ideal as like a little joke my mum got me some toothbrushes because i'll speak about it in another video but i go through so many toothbrushes a week i'm trying my best i do <laughs> i can't i can't help it so i also got a little lush gift set which is really cute i've wanted to try the sleepy stuff this haul is really given like anxious young 20s esque kind of girl isn't it but this is the sleepy stuff from lush and it's got the shower gel and the body lotion in because i can't get bath bombs anymore and this is the next best thing and i love how this is wrapped it's just really, really cute 
so I'm excited to use these. These sprays are so fragrant sprays and I went to a so fragrant event in it might have been the start of October me and Lorraine went to the like Mean Girls movie night in the Everyman Cinema in Liverpool so my mum probably saw these and thought oh there's that brand she probably recognised it but I love these little sprays they're just really handy to have in your bag and stuff I've smelt it's my coat is that how you say it my conus Mick no it's Mykonos <laughs> That was a bit of a blonde moment, but Mykonos Night smells really good. I know what that one smells like. That's a really cute one to hold on to because I'm really proud of all the events and stuff that I get invited to. Then I also picked this. I picked this bloody ages ago. I went to Cheshire Oaks and I picked this out from Matalan. Matalan honestly is killing the game. I got a dress for New Year's from Matalan and it's literally the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. But it's just this little knit. I saw this and I was like, I need that for my spring wardrobe. And it'll go with so many of my jeans. I've got my purple jeans, my green jeans, my pink jeans, my yellow ones. Perfect. I just love the colours in this. This is so cute. I'm so bad at pronouncing brands, but I love this brand. Like the whole aesthetic of this brand. It's Eleanor Boma. <laughs> I think that's right. But they're slipper socks. That's what they're actually like on the back. But I just love the whole like aesthetic of this brand. It's always so pretty and I always see it in boots. I think my mum did get this from boots because it seems like something that boots would stock. Then if you're not going to agree that the best chocolates in Quality Street are the Strawberry Delights. We just can't be friends. They are so good. But then at the same time I like when other people don't like them so that I get more of them. Because you've got to be selfish sometimes. I just love how they're wrapped as well. Like a little Christmas cracker. Then I got some self carry bits. So I got this which has got a headband in for stripping my fringe back when I do skincare. A little microfiber cloth which is great because they're my favourite things to take my makeup off with. With a cleansing balm. And this little, I think this is like a face massager. Yeah it's like a face brush kind of thing. I am starting to get much more into skincare. I am really enjoying it. Like I just love how like fresh I feel after it. Then I got some little Jules lip balm. So it's a little trio. What flavours are there? We have got honey, elderflower and blackberry. I'm really excited for the blackberry. I'm definitely like a fruity scent kind of person. I feel like that was a boots gift set as well. Then I got this little storybook of face masks, which is really cute. Let me show you inside. I'm obsessed. How cute. No Christmassy. I can't open this one today. So, as I said, I'm getting more into skincare, so I will enjoy these. I always go on and on about how I can't buy bath bombs anymore because my mum got rid of the bath. Still not over it. So my mum did get me some, like, shower. They're kind of like the alternative to bath bombs, They're, like shower steamers. So you put these in the shower and I assume they just make the shower smell nice. We got a raspberry one, a pineapple one and a rainbow one. And then my dad present was my favourite perfume ever. It is Armani Diamond. I have loved this perfume for years. It is so nice. It's like my signature scent. Oh my god, the nostalgia of this scent. It gets me emotional. I really miss that time in my life, so. This is from my auntie, uncle and my two cousins from Australia who are over for Christmas and it's been so lovely. They got me the cutest Pandora charm and it's really, really cute. I love it. First of all, look at the packaging. That is such a pretty box. I feel like everything about Pandora is just so like classy and put together, isn't it? In the little box. I got the little gingerbread one and the gingerbread's holding a little candy cane. I don't know if it's in focus. I need to put it on my Pandora bracelet, which is upstairs. Then moving on to what Katie got me. I actually can't believe how long me and Katie have been friends now. Like it feels like I've known her for about a year. Then it also feels like I've known her like my whole life. But she got me a brush set, which is really handy because I really needed to wash my makeup brushes. And now I don't have to wash them all because I've got some. And this actually comes with a brush cleanser, which is interesting. Me and Katie always think alike because I also got her beauty blenders. <sighs> One of the brushes is an angel number, the 444 filtered cheek brush. It's a sign. Also got me the heatless curling rod. I wanted to try this so much and I think my hair's a little bit too short at the moment, but once my hair grows, I mean, I'm still gonna try it and see what happens, but when my hair grows a bit more, I'm gonna be trying this because everyone who does it makes it look so like easy and so nice. So I'm hoping the same things happens for me. Then she also got me this little gold layer necklace which is really really cute. It's so pretty. I do still love gold jewellery. And then she got me some XX Revolution makeup removal pads which is again great because mine just go missing. I don't know where they go. Again microfiber cloths is my favourite way to take my makeup off when I'm not feeling lazy because it might be a baby wipe job tonight. From my granddad and his partner I got the cutest little crystal set ever. I don't know where this is from but it's honestly stunning. Inside I'm going to try and show this as best that I can. Oh, 
this is like a sheet with all crystals and like their meanings on. I'm going to show you each individual bag just because I feel like they need a moment. But this is so cute. So first thing, I got a little rose quartz necklace. So I'm not going to take out the bag just because my camera is flashing at me because it's going to die. I have my tigers I want. Tigers? That, yeah, my tigers I want on all the time as well as my tigers eye bracelet. So I'm now going to attract good love into my life. I also got sel selenite. Sel sel I think that's how you say it. I'm not really sure. All the bags have like little dried flower petals in the bottom too. This one is for harmony to any environment, which again, we love. Then in the last bag, I've got a selection of three crystals. So I'll actually get these ones out because why not? I'm trying to keep the dried flowers inside the little pouches because one, my mum will absolutely kill me if I get them all over the carpet. I have, oh, the three little crystals. <laughs> the clear one, which is Aura Quartz, is for nourishment and cleansing. Then we have got Amazonite, which is tranquility. Why can't I say that? Tranquility, delight and inspiration. The final one, which I've really wanted this one for ages, but I've never thought to pick up myself, which is Amethyst, which balances the mind, enhances mystical perception and wards off unnecessary thoughts. That would be absolutely ideal. And it also got me this bag of, I think the truffles? And my mum's friend, Jan, also got me a reed diffuser, which I've just run out of the one in my flat, so this was perfect timing. The scent is apricot, apricot blossom. I feel like this is such like a nice spring scent, so I might save that, to be fair. I was also really lucky enough to get like money on vouchers from people and lots of chocolate so much chocolate which if you know me i literally think i'm addicted to chocolate it's not even a joke anymore like if i don't have chocolate every single day i, I wouldn't say i get angry but it's not a pleasant emotion but yeah i'm going to quickly sign off before this dies because it's flashing at me and i don't know how long it lasts when it flashes so if you got this far thank you so much for watching i hope christmas treated you well if you celebrate it and yeah i'll be back before new year with my Boxing Day haul. Boxing Day is just my favorite day of the year. So I'm gonna see what I pick up in the sales. My camera died. So here we are. Um, I can't remember where it cut me off. Thank you so, so much for watching and I shall see you in my Boxing Day haul. So exciting. Um, yeah, love you. Bye.